Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to continue again in your iReady books. If you could take a minute to pause the video, pull it out, and I'm going to have you open up today to pages 178 and 179, Homes Around the World. So that's your iReady book, pages 178 and 179, Homes Around the World. I would like you to read to yourself Homes Around the World, and then we will read it together. This is a magazine article. I'd like you to read it to yourself, and then we'll read it together. Homes Around the World by Coriander Singh. People have all kinds of homes or places where they live. Some families live in houses. Other families live in apartments in large buildings. People around the world live in homes like these. They also live in homes you may never have heard about. A home people can take apart. Some people live in huts. Huts are small, simple homes. They are made from branches that are covered with cloth. These homes are easy to put up and take apart. If it's time to move, people can take their homes with them. A home that floats on water. Some people live on houseboats. Houseboats are homes that float on water and can travel on rivers and lakes. Some houseboats have many rooms, just like houses do on land. How all homes are alike. No matter where they are, all homes are the same in some ways. They protect us from the rain and the sun. They give us a safe place to live, work, sleep, and eat. Eight people can live on this houseboat. Okay. What is this article, this magazine article, mainly about? What do you think? Take a minute to pause and discuss. What is this article mainly about? If you said this article was mainly about different homes around the world, you would be correct because it's talking about houses that can be taken apart, that float on water, how they're alike. Why do people use houseboats as homes? Houseboats here is a word in bold, so it tells me that it's important. People use houseboats because they want to live and travel on the water. How are homes around the world alike? Meaning, how are they the same? If you said they all protect people from the weather and give us a place to live, work, and eat, you would be correct. Now down at the bottom, we have our box here with the purple heading. And it says, close reader habits. How do text features help you find information in a passage? Put a box around each subheading. Circle the words in bold print and underline their meaning. So I'd like you to pause the video while you put a box around the subheadings, there are three. Circling the words in bold print, there are three. And then underline the meaning of those words in bold. Again, there are three. So go ahead and pause the video. And I'm going to show you in my book what your page should look like. can go ahead and pause that if you need to. There's a box around the three subheadings, the three words in bold, and underlining their meanings. Now if you go ahead and look at the next page right next door, 
it says, why is the word huts in bold print? A, to help you know what huts look like. B, to show that it is an important word in the passage. C, to tell about the topic of the text that comes after it. D, to help you find information about apartments. Why do you think they put that in bold? If you selected B to show that it is an important word in the passage, you would be correct. Letter B. Question number two. Which text feature helps you find information about homes that can travel on rivers? A, the bold print word homes. B, the bold print word huts. C, the subheading, a home people can take apart. D, the subheading, a home that floats on water. So which one of those text features would help you find information about homes that can travel on rivers? If you selected D, the subheading, a home that floats on water, you would be correct because headings in the article help to remind us what this paragraph or the next part of the passage is going to be about. What's it going to tell us? Question number three, we're going to stop and talk. How can the text features in the article help you understand the information you read about houseboats? So what I want you to do is to stop and talk about those subheadings, the bold words, their meanings, you could even take a minute to go back and look at the caption here under the picture and discuss with somebody at home or in class, how do these text features help in this magazine article? And we're going to stop there for today.